Hello friends, this is Vibo Mania. Today in this video, we are gonna design a piston in Katia V5. This will be my complete tutorial series on designing of an engine in Katia V5. In my next video, I will design a connecting roll, so stay tuned for that. To make a piston, I have used these blueprints, link for the same is provided in the description. Now let's start this tutorial. To make a piston, first start with the assembly design. Then insert a new part by clicking on a part or new part icon. Now change its name to piston by right clicking on a part 1 and then properties. Change the name to piston. Double click on it to activate that part. Now select YZ plane and click on sketch. I'll quickly make a profile for a piston. This piston will have three grooves for ring, two for compression rings and one for oil scrapping ring. Let me provide a dimension to this profile. Only the bottom ring groove thickness will be 2 mm and remaining will be 1.4 mm. The groove depth will be 3 mm.
I'm creating a hidden line for a reference for the piston head. It should be 50 mm above from the base. Make sure that these two arcs are tangent to each other. Right click on it and select vertical mesh direction. Make this arc tangent to the hidden line. Our basic profile for a piston is now ready. And let's start with filleting its corners. Now let's make a profile for cooling galleries.
exit the sketch and click on sharp definition tool. Select the sketch one for the profile and Z axis for the rotation. Now hit enter. Now select exit plane and click on sketch. Click on this tool called cut part by sketch plane. So now we can see the internals of the piston. Then create a rectangle. Make these two lines coincidence with each other and give it a dimensions. Now mirror it on the other side of the piston by using mirror tool. Exit the sketch and click on pocket tool. Select up to last for both first and second limit and select the recent sketch for the profile. Hit enter. Those remaining fillets are not required. Let me quickly edit the first sketch. Now select XY plane and click on sketch. Create a rectangular profile for the extrusion. Select these two lines and make it coincidence. Mirror it on the other side as we did before. Exit the sketch and click on pad tool. Select up to plane and select this surface. Hit enter. Now select this side surface of piston and enter into the sketch of workbench. Create a circular profile whose diameter is 36 mm. And 
the head from the base is 21 mm. Now create a tangent line. Make it vertical. Mirror it on the other side. Make the horizontal line. Make these two lines coincidence with each other. Now remove the remaining lines and curves with the help of quick trim tool. Exit the sketch. Now click on pad tool. Provide 7mm for first limit and 21mm for the second limit. Hit enter. Select this pad and mirror it about the YZ plane by using mirror tape. Select this surface and click on sketch. Click on this tool and select these two surfaces and click on project 3d element tool exit the sketch and click on pad tool select up to next and let me reverse its direction click on ok Now select exact plane and click on sketch. Make the triangular profile at the base of the piston. these two lines coincidence with each other. Now mirror the profile on the other side. Exit the sketch. Now click on pocket tool. Provide more than 50 mm for first limit and more than minus 15 mm for the second limit. Hit enter. Now select this pocket and mirror it about ZX plane by using mirror tool. Now select YZ plane and click on sketch. Make a circular profile of 20 mm diameter. And the height from the base is 21 mm. Exit the sketch and click on pocket tool. 
select up to last for both first and second hit. Hit enter. Now select this surface and click on sketch. Select three point arc and create an arc. Make a horizontal reference line at the end points of the arc. Its length is twenty mm. Make it coincidence. Now create another arc. It should be tangent to the previous arc and coincidence to this point. Now mirror this arc on the other side by mirror tool. Now complete the remaining profile. And exit the sketch. Click on pocket tool and select up to last foot for both first and second unit. Hit enter. CAD model of our piston is completed and it is time for filleting. Make sure that you provide a fillet in order as I have done in this tutorial. Otherwise, you may get an error or slightly different design than mine.
quality is done. Select YZ plane and click on sketch. Make a circular profile inside all strap or ring groove for all passage. Its diameter will be 1.4 mm and the height from the base will be 37 mm. Exit the sketch and click on pocket. Select up to last and hit enter. Now select this pocket and click on circular pattern 2. Select complete crown for parameters and z axis for the rotation. Insert 30 instances. Select XY plane and click on sketch. Create two circular profiles with diameter of 1 mm. One for the all entrance and other for the exit. Mirror them on the other side. Exit the sketch. Click on pocket tool. Provide 37 mm for the first limit. And minus 27 for the second limit. Hit enter. It is time to make a groove for say clip. But before we do that, it is necessary to remove these holes in the middle of the piston. So let me quickly edit them. Now that looks perfect. Select ZX plane and click on sketch. Make a rectangular profile and give it a dimensions.
mirror it on the other side exit the sketch and click on roto select a recent sketch for the profile and x axis for the rotation hit enter our piston is now complete next step is to design both rings for the piston to make a compression ring go to assembly workbench by double clicking on a product Insert a new part by clicking on a new part icon. Slightly drag it along the z-axis by using manipulation tool. Now, change its name to compression ring by right clicking on part 1 and then properties. Change the name to compression ring. Double click on it to activate that part. Now select XY plane and click on sketch. Make two circular profiles from the center with radius of 47mm and 50mm. Exit the sketch and click on pad to select mirror extend and give dimensions of 0.7 mm. Edit the sketch by simply double clicking on sketch. Make a rectangular profile and give it a dimension. Change the diameter to 50 and a half mm. Remove the remaining line with the help of quick trim tool. And exit the sketch. Compression ring is now complete. Next step is to design an all scrapper ring. To design an all scrapper ring, go to assembly workbench by double clicking on a product. Insert new part by clicking on a new part icon. Slightly drag it along the z-axis by using manipulation tool. Now change its name to all scrapper ring by right clicking on a part 1 and then properties. Change the name to all scrapper ring. Double click on it to activate the part. Select XYZ and click on sketch. Now make two circular profiles from the center with a radius of 47mm and 50.5mm. the sketch and click on pad 2. Select mirror extent and give it a dimension of 1 mm. Hit enter. Now select YZ plane and click on sketch. Then make a profile as I have done in this tutorial.
finally close the profile. And exit the sketch. Click on pocket tool and select up to last. Hit enter. Click on circular pattern tool. Select complete crown for parameters and z axis for the rotation. Insert 145 instances and select recent pocket for the object. Hit enter. Now select XY plane and click on sketch. Make the same circular profiles as we did before with the same dimensions. Exit the sketch and click on pack tool. Provide 1 mm for the first limit and negative 0.7 mm for the second limit. Hit enter. Mirror the part about the XY plane by mirror tool. Our oil scraper ring is complete. Next step is to design a piston pin. To make a piston pin, go to assembly design by double clicking on product. Insert new part by clicking on part or new part icon. Slightly move it along the z-axis with the help of manipulation tool. Now, change its name to piston pin by right clicking on a part and then properties. Change the name to piston pin. Double click on it to activate that part. Select YZ plane and click on sketch. Create two circular profiles with outer radius of 10 mm and inner radius of 8 mm. Exit the sketch and click on pad tool. Select mirror extend and provide length of 30m. Hit enter. Next step is to design a cell clip for a piston pin. To design a cell clip, go to assembly workbench by double clicking on a product. Insert new part by clicking on a new part icon. Now, change its name to cell clip by right click on a part and then properties. Change the name to cell clip. Slightly move it along the z-axis with the help of manipulation tool. Double click on it to activate that part. Select YZ plane and click on sketch. Now create a sketch as I have done in this tutorial.
Exit the sketch and click on pad tool. I guess there is some open gap in the sketch. Let me quickly edit it. To check the gap, go to tool and then sketch analysis. It is always good to verify our sketch in sketch analysis before doing any 3D work. There it is lines are intersecting each other. Coincidence these two points. Exit the sketch and click on pad tool. Select mirror extent and provide length of 0.5 mm. Hit enter. There's one step remaining in piston pin, which is to make a hole in it for lubricant flow. Double click on get model of piston pin to activate it. Select XY plane and click on sketch. Select both these circles and click on project 3D element tool. Exit the sketch and click on pocket tool. Select up to last for both first and second limit. Hit enter. Our all parts for piston is now complete and next step is to assemble them. Before we start assembly of the piston, first several parts. To assemble a piston, go to assembly workbench by double clicking on product. Click on existing component and insert one compression ring and one circuit. If auto update is off from settings, then you will have to manually update them each time. Be careful while selecting center line for circuit because it has two different circles. Select outer circle center line which will pass through the center of plane. Girls with the nails done. Girls with the nails done. 
Assembly is complete. Step is to provide them materials. To provide a material, click on apply material icon. Go to metal and drag and drop aluminium to the piston and then drag and drop steel to the all remaining parts. Close the material window, change the view to shading with materials to view the materials we provided to the piston. Now I'll edit this material properties for better visualization. 
just double click on material to edit the properties. I'll mainly change the reflectivity and roughness of the material.